Hi guys, this is Yuri. Welcome to the channel. Today is a quick guide on how to change the small digital display on the MG3 vehicles that's available in New Zealand, Australia and some other markets. If you don't know me, I do all the tutorial videos for the MG vehicles. You can check all the information on my channel, including all the MG3 purchase guide, everything. So to go into this system, uh, what we want to do, we want to use the button on the left of the indicator. So this is the button you can personalize to change whatever you like to display in the center display. So simple, just tap the button. You can go through different selections. These selections will show you different sort of information. I'll go through each one. So the first one is your odometer. This is a total uh, kilometers the vehicle has traveled over the since the vehicle has been built, basically. Another touch. We are going to the A trip. That means based on the calculation, A trip has traveled 372 kilometers. If you do want to reset, you can do a long press and hold. That means you can reset this A trip. For example, push and hold. The A trip is now reset to zero. Then you can also single click again to go to B trip. Again, you can calculate your trip and all that things based on this information. Another button. This allows you to check your fuel tank. So this is range to empty. That means with this amount of fuel, the vehicle estimate to be able to go 333 kilometers um, out of uh, one before you run out of petrol. But this is just indication. This will fluctuate based on how you drive all the things. Since this is a yard vehicle, we've been studying the vehicle without running just for demonstration. This is not super accurate. A full tank you should be able to achieve somewhere around 500, 600 Ks. Next, single touch again, this is your on-time consumption or fuel uh, sort of rating. Once, that means once you start driving, this will go up and down on the numbers, depends on how much you are pressing down on the pedal, so it will fluctuate in litre per 100 k unit. Next, we have the average fuel consumption, which shows the average sun over here. Uh, again, this vehicle has not been driving on the road. It's been just yard start everything, so fuel consumption is quite high. Once you start driving, this will fluctuate again. And next, we have the average speed. This is average speed is based on how the vehicle has been traveled over the again last A trip. If you do want to reset, you can reset the A trip. They will show no no letter. But once you start driving, this will show the average uh, speed depends on your um, vehicle driving speed. Next, we have the service um, interval guidance. So this vehicle in New Zealand, the service interval is every 10,000 kilometers or every year, whichever comes first. On this vehicle, it will not give you the guidance based on your time. It's only going to give you guidance based on the uh, based on the kilometers. That means this vehicle has done 300 something k's in another 9,650 k you will need a service. And when the service is due or overdue, it will give you an indication over here whenever you start the vehicle. And if you do want to reset, again, long push and hold, allow you to reset the service reminder on this vehicle. And next, we are going back to the uh, automated of the vehicle. So that's how to change the display for your small digital panel on the MG3. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like if you found this video helpful. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.